Now that that's over, 26 topics. Yeesh. Thought I'd never get through it. Anyway, as you can tell, I have a tendency to agree with Bernie Sanders over Hillary Clinton on most issues. That being said, these are all progressive issues, and on a bunch of those, you saw that the, both of the candidates have been historically fucking aligned and currently aligned, which means they've both been consistent on a few issues, and yes, on the other issues, I tend to agree with Bernie Sanders more, i.e., no, we need to break, break up the big fucking banks and all that good shit. We shouldn't have had to have bailed them out. They should have been able to have gone through the normal bankruptcy proceedings without destroying the economy. That's how that should have worked. But instead, we bailed them out on a taxpayer reference, and that's horrible. We pretend to be capitalists. What kind of capitalist bails out a big bank? A socialist capitalist is what we fucking do. We bash on fucking socialists. Pfft, our country is socialist. I certainly get socialist medicine. But no, Bernie Sanders and Hillary Clinton are both fantastic progressive candidates. On big money, Bernie Sanders wins. He's focusing on the issue that's primarily affecting this country, and that's the fact that rich fuckers get to buy off fucking the media, which we all see, so we get to all see that fucking fear porn. And we all get to see the fact that, oh my god, the terrorist. I see 80 bajillion stories about the terrorists and the Paris and the fucking San Bernardino. And I, I, I might have seen that one where they had the abortion clinic bombing. I might, I can't remember quite clearly. But I know about them fucking Muslims and shit. So, that's fun, as all things. Uh, but no, both of them are generally progressive candidates, and I generally believe they will both do well as president. I believe Hillary Clinton can be an adequate president. With the system we have, she may make slight improvements and get us fucking better off. With Bernie Sanders, he's fucking Theodore Roosevelt. But he's not even bothering with the speaking softly. He's like, I'm coming for you motherfuckers. You big banks? Monopolies? Oh yes, you guys are fucked. If you're too big for the fucking economy to handle, you going fucked in the water, you're going down. And that's where a lot of fucking people are because that's... Democrat, Republican, progressive, liberal, it, conservative, traditionalist, it doesn't matter. We've all come to realize that money is the problem. Bernie Sanders is going to be better on money. Hillary Clinton is not going to be as rough as money from their record. Can I say definitively that Hillary Clinton is, un, is going to be uninfluenced or influenced by money I can't, because I'm not inside her head, but I know psychologically, if I give you a bunch of money, or if I donate a bunch of money to do something favorably for you, or if I do anything massively that's going to cost me a significant amount in the fucking cultural value system, and you're going to benefit from it, I'm going to expect you to do something for me. And the reality is, when you're thinking about me, you're probably going to think about me more favorably than other people. That's just how that shit works. And that's not fucking... Hillary, I am going to vote for you if you fucking win the primary. But I am voting for Bernie Sanders in the primary. I do not think you're going to be as tough as on Wall Street as you should be. And I've called you all sorts of bad names and corporatists, this and that, and that's because I'm an immature fuckwit and I apologize, but the difference between Hillary Clinton and Bernie Sanders, leave the Iraq war out of it. I'm going to leave the Iraq war out of it, but the difference is, for this election that people are paying attention to, Bernie Sanders 
getting ready to bust up those fucking big ass banks. Hillary Clinton, well, we need to work within the big ass bank system that they've already fucking designed and regulated. No. It's time for that system to end, which is why I will fight until fucking my last effort to get Bernie Sanders through the primary. You have my vote, Clinton, if I can't get my goal achieved because I will not abide by a Republican taking the presidency, not with their warmongering ways. You're a slight warmonger, Clinton, miss. I voted for Iraq, even though the evidence didn't actually exist. But I don't think you're going to be nearly the warmonger. Well, you'll follow peace with Iran. Anyway, in closing, clearly you know where I stand. I'm voting for Bernie Sanders in the primary. And I hope Bernie Sanders wins the primary. And if he does, I'm fucking seeing Bernie Sanders to the next presidency of the United States. Hillary Clinton, I hope you fucking really do fucking sincerely want to take down the big ass banks. Because you've taken a lot of their money. And it's skeptical, but I do have faith you'll be a better president than anyone the Republicans could throw up. So you have my vote in November if that's the case. Anyway, that wraps up this series of Lie Psycho. Eh, fuck Lie Psycho. These views were from Nathan Smith, the veteran. Lie Psycho is just a pseudonym that I use because I can, because this is the internet. Anyway, you guys have a wonderful evening, morning, day, night, whatever time it is you actually watch this series. And if you watch the entire series, I do thank you. I don't actually expect anyone to get through the entire thing. You guys have a wonderful evening, a night, and I'm sorry I didn't get more into the educational stuff in this closing part, but it's already like seven minutes, so y'all have a good one.